Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you a brand new method on how to reduce your input delay here in Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 I prepared a whole brand new package for you guys with a ton of tweaks which we're going to apply here step by step so therefore if you don't want to miss out on anything make sure to watch the whole entire video and by the way guys please also make sure to check out actually the latest video where I compared the GK61 with the Apex Pro Mini in my opinion that's a very interesting topic I mean both of these keyboards are insanely fast but the budget is literally so different for both of them so therefore make sure to check it out 100% afterwards and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys and what I want to do now in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website and here on the top it already says FPS boost, input delay, stretch resolution and what we're going to do is click in the first place onto input delay guys. Once we click onto it we probably got redirected here. Wait, once I click onto it we got redirected and here on the top you can see a bunch of posts but the one here on top should have exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now so therefore click onto it but you can of course also check out the other ones guys so therefore yeah just simply make sure to go into it then once you get redirected again guys you're just simply going to scroll down a little bit until you can find this download button here which is going to redirect you to google drive so therefore click onto it and then you should get a drive which is going to be called alternative reducer of input delay and what we're going to do in the first place is right click onto it and extract it all here onto our desktop so it looks exactly like this here and in there now we have fortnite epic games launcher filter keys and low delay and what we in the first place want to do guys is click onto fortnite and in there we have a super simple bat which is pretty much going to make sure that like no unnecessarily services from fortnite are gonna send data basically so therefore what we're gonna do is just simply click onto it real quick and then you can already see here operation is successful so therefore we can actually close it now and we also of course have a revert one so that from now on guys i'm also gonna put in all of these packs a revert step just in case if you should have any issues with the package whatsoever you can simply click onto revert and all the settings are gonna get reapplied next up we're gonna go here onto epic games launcher and in there we should have a command line which we're going to copy here now which is going to be called limit client ticks and this one as well has also something to do as it already says limit um, the client tick rate which pretty much means like epic games launcher how many data it can send and receive so therefore guys once we're actually in the epic games and once we're in the epic games launcher itself we're gonna click here onto our profile guys and that should say here settings so therefore we're gonna click onto it scroll down a little bit until we can find manage games and then we should have fortnite which we're going to open up guys and there we have now additional comment line argument and you can see guys i already have a ton of them in here but i'm just gonna add the next one which i just prepared here guys which should be um limit client ticks as already seen in the um, config pack itself so therefore just make sure to put it in here guys then we can close it and yeah then we're gonna go back here into our settings and actually launch fortnite wants to check if it's running but it should be 100 and as mentioned this one is just gonna reduce pretty much like the data transfer between the epic games launcher which can also reduce our ping and overall input delay and in the next step guys we're going to take a look at filter keys which i'm going to open up here which is one of the tools which i personally also utilize myself in order to get less input delay in fortnite and what we're going to do is launch the program itself and it's gonna look exactly like this here but don't be worried guys, I already also put a screenshot in here with like all of the best settings. So therefore what you're gonna do is like put them here side by side next to each other. And then you can already see here for ignore under, we're gonna put it onto zero milliseconds. Then for repeat delay, we're gonna put it on 150. Repeat rate, we're gonna put it on 25. And then here on the right, we pretty much only want on and available checked. Yeah, so the rest we're gonna uncheck here all of that. Then once we get it guys, we're gonna click here now onto OK. And it's gonna already fully get applied here into our registry so we don't even have to let it run in the background we fully change it here on our pc already and then you can enjoy having way less input delay and now let's continue with the next step and in the final step guys we're gonna click in now onto low delay where we have a registry entry here which is gonna be called low delay itself we're gonna click onto it and apply it here onto our pc guys and as you can already see here automatic reducer of input delay registry has been successfully added so therefore we're gonna click onto ok and what this file pretty much does is it's gonna gonna make sure that like all of the input devices which we put on our pc are gonna have the least amount of latency because yeah we don't have like any power energy savings mode enabled which is all just gonna make sure that any input which we go on our pc like a controller mouse and keyboard whatsoever is not gonna have an internal delay so therefore that's super super important guys 